Yo guys, what's up? Raj here, and yes, my first year is done and dusted. And no, I'm not chilling out in my first year vacation. Actually, I've made a plan, a list, a mission to complete during my first year vacations. So if you are also someone that is stuck between Netflix and next year, so this video is for you. The first skin I'm going to learn is for full stack web development, not just CSS, not just HTML, that hello world wise, but front end, back end, everything. So actually, I purchased a batch on Udemy, and many of the CEOs recommended me the Hitesh Choudhury batch. He said it's a very affordable batch. Actually, I got it very cheaply. And if I able to complete that uh, course during my uh, vacation period, it will be a very good uh, achievement for me. Cause during my second year, I can participate in many of the hackathons. I can contribute and not just be present there to get the participant certificate. That that I don't want. Actually, I want to win some of the hackathons during my during my second year. So this will. This skill will help me to achieve this. And yes, my real goal is to make one or two uh, real world projects that I can showcase during my interviews. And yes, of course, flex, uh, flex in front of the LinkedIn Connect. So my next mission will be to be a two star coder on CodeChef. Basically, CodeChef is a platform where you showcase your coding knowledge and stars are the identification that is given by that platform to rank you upon your DSA knowledge. So basically it is very good thing actually it's a very good platform to motivate you like uh, motivate you to keep learning the uh, DSA and actually DSA is very important during your uh, interviews and like uh, to crack the MNC's interviews and yes uh, actually two star is not a god level but yes uh, it's just a start and once I hit those two star of course I will be trying to go for a three star I also like to suggest you a few things like start learning at least one programming language like I'm not telling you ki but at least give one or two hours of the day to dedicately to that uh, learning that language which will help you significantly during your first year i'm not lying it will definitely help you during your first year to so take up this challenge and work with work with me only like at least do a web development try to learn css html js or if you're targeting for competitive programming let's let's say do some uh, basic stuff dsl that you will able to complete during your uh, enter vacations after entrance exams only so i'm telling you this will really really help you during your first year so what will be my daily routine during this vacation actually i'm trying to dedicate three hours to each of the section that is for web development i'm uh, giving three hours for dsl that is to be a core to star core chef i'll be dedicating three hours for that also and also I'm trying to dedicate three hours to my uh, YouTube journey because I want to uh, capture these moments uh, like for capture my journey on the YouTube and update you guys regularly regarding what like where do where I have reached or what are the problems I face during completing these challenges. So yes and also because during placement I don't want to be, I want to be that guy who said I built that and not panic during like what are the things I've learned like uh, I don't want to panic during my third year placements. And also to grab one of the very good internships, which will build my resume and which will be, of course, uh, it will also uh, give me lots of opportunities I will, uh, if I learn these things during my vacations only. But during college time, you not do not get like lots of extra time to complete this or to achieve, the, to work on these skills. Vacations are the only things like, yes, you will, you get a lot of time and you can utilize your time to doing for doing these things and upgrade yourself let's see if i able to do it or not if you like really want to know what uh, till what level uh, will i reach or i will able to do it or not just let me into comment if you want to roast me you can roast me also and that's it for this video these are the things that i'll be doing during my first year journey and not gonna chill out let's go out with friends let's see that stuff's also going to happen I don't know. I am not saying I will to able to do hundred percent of this thing, but at least if I able to at least do sixty or above fifty percent of these things I have mentioned this video, it will be a very productive vacation for me, guys. Cause during my first year, my uh, complete focus on my academics only. I know academics and SGPS and CGPS are very important during your placement. Cause if there are thousands of people sitting to the uh, to sitting for the particular company job, and every uh, like. They, they will not take interview of each and every one. They will firstly shortlist it based on your CGP and SGPS. And after that, they will see your skills where you match, uh, you, where do you match or not. So that's why I'm telling you academics is also important. Once you got this, you will get a lot of chance to like to be prepared for a particular interview or you will get a pre-idea like what other things you will be learning during your 
engineer journey and yeah that's all that's all it's all matter for this video and i will i will be going to share you my journey i will be telling you what are the things i will uh, what are the problems i faced during my during this journey and we'll be updating regularly so that's it so let's meet in another video and bye bye